All right, eBay fam, let's talk business. Q4 is right around the corner, and today we're diving deep into five actionable strategies to ramp up those eBay sales. You in? Let's get started. Now, for the newbies wondering what the fuss about Q4 is, let's break it down. Q4 is like the Super Bowl of e-commerce. So think Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving, sales through the roof. So if you plan your cards right, Q4 can make your entire year's worth. Let's dive into the playbook. Step one, anticipate. Know your holidays, mark those on the calendar and lay the groundwork. Plan your Q4 strategy. All right, so diving into Q4 isn't about flying blind, it's strategic. You've got your Zeke e-commerce calendar, open it up, mark those major holidays, and let's map out the big dates together. So for those of you who may not know, Q4 is a three-month calendar page, which includes October, November, and December. Now here in Zeke Analytics, over on the right, we have the Zeke calendar of upcoming events. This calendar is an awesome tool because it shows you all of the upcoming events for the entire year, making planning for your store super easy and convenient. So with this calendar, you can actually go ahead and plan for October 31st which is Halloween. Then you can go ahead and plan for November 23rd, which of course is Thanksgiving. And then we have Black Friday. And after that, we have Cyber Monday. And then over in December, we of course have Christmas. And I suggest squeezing in the new year into all of this as well. First rule of the game, start early. I mean like three months early, maybe more. Why less competition, top search results, and you are the early bird catching that worm. Early listings mean early sales. Second rule, have a hefty list of products for every holiday. Zeke's got a ton of product ideas. Let's actually check them out right now. For example, Here on Zeke's event calendar, you can go ahead and click on the Halloween pumpkin icon and below you will have the top selling items for each year or each previous year to give you a start on your products and your search for the new items for the upcoming holiday as well. So for example, here we have string lights, Disney costume, scary face masks, Halloween skeleton. And it tells you how many days you have left until this particular holiday, Halloween for this example. So you have 51 days until Halloween. Let's now look at other icons as well and the products that have been doing well from the previous years. So let's go ahead and click on the turkey icon for Thanksgiving. Here it says you have 74 days until Thanksgiving. This gives you a lot of wiggle room for planning. Also to start your search, you have Thanksgiving table runner, Thanksgiving decor, Thanksgiving products and Thanksgiving covers. Now let's go ahead and look at Christmas. Now Christmas is in 106 days, yay. Christmas has Christmas decoration, pre-lit Christmas tree, Bluetooth speaker, outdoor Christmas decoration. Now remember, everything is a potential gift when it comes to Christmas. Now, I did skip over two very important events, but that's because I want to go over them in detail. So first we have Black Friday. Now, instead of giving you a list of products, Zeke actually gives you some tips. So Black Friday is a significant shopping event that follows Thanksgiving in the U.S. with retailers offering massive discounts. 
So a tip for you as a drop shipper, there is a higher risk of items going out of stock on the supplier's website. To avoid this, set stock limits to two to three per item and use auto ordering software to process orders quickly. And then we have Cyber Monday as well. Cyber Monday is an annual online shopping event that takes place on the Monday after Thanksgiving in the U.S. And this is where retailers offer discounts primarily on their online space. So again, as a dropshipper, there is a higher risk of products going out of stock on your supplier's website during this event. And to prevent this, set stock limits two to three items and use auto ordering software to process orders quickly. This will help you maximize sales and keep your customers satisfied. But don't limit yourself. Always brainstorm more, especially for Christmas, because everything's a potential gift. Listing quantity. Start slow. Dabble with 20 to 50 items. If they're flying off the digital shelves, ramp it up. But remember, pace yourself. So up until three weeks before the holiday, because it's a marathon, not a sprint. Last pointer, dead listings. Holidays end, demand drops. Gradually phase those listings out, but never, and I mean never, remove more than you list. You don't want to end up with a graveyard of stock. All right, on to the secret sauce, listing optimization. It's SEO magic. Optimize your listings for maximum visibility. Your holiday plan, mirror it in your listings. Keywords are king here. Halloween, Xmas, gift. Get those in to increase traffic. And let's not forget to jazz up your templates for the holiday mood. Okay, if this is helping you out, a quick favor, click subscribe. Help us keep these insights coming. Ready for a game changer? Let's talk about profit. The similar product method. This is gold all year round, but goes supernova in Q4. Spotted a winner like string lights. Scout similar, cheaper variants. Sell them at consistent prices. It's a win-win. Higher coverage, higher profit margins. Promotions, right? People can't resist them, especially during the holidays. But here's the kicker. It's not just about attracting more buyers. First, eBay's promotional tools are pure gold. Start small, test which promotions resonate with your audience, and then amplify. But here is where many trip up. Promoted listings, yes, they offer more visibility, but don't let eBay eat up your profits. Always, and I mean always, calculate your margins before deciding on that uh, commission percentage for eBay. Keep your eyes on the profit and not just the sale. All right, take a breath. And if you're finding value, let's smash that like button. Automation, because Q4 is busy and we've got better things to do, right? Stock fluctuations, they're a pain. So tools like AutoDS, lifesavers. And a pro tip, keep stock numbers modest. A few unfulfilled orders manageable Hundreds, disaster. And for those who have stuck around, a bonus. Here is how to protect your eBay store. Sold an out-of-stock item? Every seller's nightmare, but especially in Q4. Number one rule, never, and I mean never, cancel an order due to out-of-stock. It's a reputation killer. Here's the game plan. Reach out to the buyer. Offer them alternatives. Heck, get creative. If they're not on board, then play it smart. Tell them there's a defect or the quality isn't up to your standards. And if you have to cancel it, always choose options like 
buyer asked to cancel or wrong shipping address. Keep that store reputation at top notch, even when facing hiccups. We've covered some ground today. The holidays, they're charging in. So take notes, act, and let's see those sales rocket. Give a thumbs up if you're on board, subscribe for more, and hit that bell. Until next time, eBay Warriors, sell smart, and here's to a record Q4.